Today, I wanted to show you this new feature in remote action execution for Tasker. Now you can very simply re execute remote tasks from anywhere by simply uh, specifying the task name and some parameters and off you go. I've built this example web page here that's very simple. The only thing that you need to input here is your, your two uh, Google client, Google Cloud files, like you do in Tasker, then the device token, and then this will call a task called uh, show flash with some text. So let's start out by choosing the files here. You just have to follow the directions to get these files. Then to get the device token, you can use the remote action execution action within the query mode and then you'll get this token here. So in this case, I'm setting the clipboard to it. So now the token is on my clipboard. I'll paste it here. And then the text to show is simply something you want to show, like hello. So if I click this, you can see that it shows the text here. What this is doing is simply uh, executing this fetch in JavaScript but you can do this from anywhere, from your server, from anywhere you like, and sending this message to, to FCM, which then sends it to Tasker. And as you can see here, it's executing a task called show toast, which is here. And it's setting the text variable to text to show, which comes from this input here. And then the task shows that variable. So again, if you run this, it executes this task, task with the text variable set to again, and then it shows down there. Now this can be used in a simple web page like this, or it could be used in a server in the background. It could be used to automate stuff from anywhere, like a Raspberry Pi or Home Assistant or anything you like. All you need to do is get your tokens and do this request right here. If you do that, you can execute tasks in Tasker remotely from anywhere. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.